Wow, wow, wow. Look what we have here. You hit play today because you were interested in a little Fuji NGH NHG 2800. So let me tell you a little bit about this. So a long time ago, maybe about three years ago, maybe four years ago, we had a camera store in the Metro DC area called Pen Camera. Maybe it was in five years ago. Pen Camera was then bought out by Calumet, 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 whatever. They were bought out by another store that also went out of business uh, some odd years ago. Uh, but, uh, I went there as they were closing and they had all of this film left over, like hundreds of rolls. And like a good neighbor, wait, that's State Farm. Anyway, like a good neighbor, I bought every last roll they had left. Roughly about eight to a thousand rolls of film. A lot of it was expired, a lot of it was like slide film. Some of it uh, I didn't think I would ever shoot. Uh, so it was actually so much film that I had to buy a separate freezer just to keep it in. Now, one of the films that I've shot, and I shot a lot because I had about 40 rolls of it, was this Fuji NGH 800. Now, I tried to look online for some information on this, and there was not a ton of information, like hardly in at all. You could find uh, some stuff by another photographer named Linus and his camera, and after looking at his work, like, oh my gosh, dude, this dude is like rad. Definitely check out his stuff. I think he also has a YouTube channel, but he shot some of this stuff, uh, and his work came out great. Now, I believe in HG 800, this was, uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, and it was uh, replaced by NPZ 800. Not sure if you can see that. You can see, yeah, there you go, NPZ 800. Um, and then shortly after that, it was replaced again by Fuji 800Z, uh, which was a film stock that was also discontinued by Fuji because Fuji likes to discontinue film stocks and they have yet to resurrect any of their film stocks from the dead. But I'm digressing. So I had a bunch of this film stock in 220 and 120 and I have been shooting it on and off over the years and just been keeping it. I haven't had to actually had any of it developed. But I recently had some developed and like, whoa. This stuff is awesome, guys. Like, I wish that they were still made this film stock. It Like, the reds were super red. Now, the greens were green. So, you know, you always hear, like, these things about shooting expired film. Because the film stock that I had, like, this one expired in 2000. So that was 20 years ago. Um, but I ended up shooting this 800 speed film at 100. And I shot a variety of things. My family, my kids, some sessions that I actually never delivered this film because I wasn't sure like what it was going to turn out with so I shot like fresh film and some of this expired film on top of it because I wanted to get like a, just a variety of of shots with it um, but recently just recently I sent some off to the fine lab and they sent me back some scans and ooh, like chef's kiss good like unbelievable good and I know there's a lot of people that are out there that are do not buy expired film, but I cannot tell you enough that this film really held up. Now, of course, it was cold stored, and then I freeze stored it. Um, I put it in my freezer, and I would take a roll out, and this is actually my last roll, and I have it in 220, um, and I'm even afraid to shoot it because I love the way the film came out. So, uh, I am going to like shoot this maybe because I'm quarantined. I don't really have enough to do or a lot to do. So I may shoot this last roll and uh, maybe block some images from it. But I wanted to just kind of give this a brief overview because I just felt like there wasn't a ton of info out this online. Like literally nothing. You could find some info in like message boards, but you couldn't really find uh, like really anything on Fuji's website or anything Really, I mean, you can find some people that shot this film stock on Flickr like 10 years ago. But like I said, this film that I had expired in 2000, 
and the stuff that I also shot expired in 98 and 99 and it came out great I cannot wait to show you guys some of these images that I shot with this but yeah instead of me rambling let's uh let's get to some of these images